I have recently covered my list of my personal favorite roller coaster names, so now of course, it is time to discuss the flip side of that. Which names do I think are the worst? To set up some of the basic guidelines for how I came up with my list, here is some clarification. I did not include super common and generic names such as Boomerang, Ten Inversion Coaster, Suspended Looping Coaster, and Roller Coaster. I also didn't include very overused names such as DC Comics hero names like Batman the Ride, Superman and its many variants, and others. I also generally avoided many very obscure names for many coasters across the world because to be frank, there are just way too many bad names and there is no way I can cover all of them in a video. And many of those names also fall under the generic category. Generally, these are coasters that are a bit more well-known, or at least at fairly well-known parks. Once again, this was an incredibly difficult list to make, and I'm sure there are some atrocious names that I forgot about, so if you think I may have left something out, politely let me know in the comments what you think are the worst names. These are solely my opinions, you all know how these lists work. With that out of the way, let's get into my ranking. Starting off with a few honorable mentions, we have Flight Deck. It's been found on many coasters over the years at Cedar Fair Parks. Steel Curtain at Kennywood. I understand the context and the historical significance of this name, but that does not change my opinion that I think this is an atrocious name. I'm not a sports fan either, so it certainly doesn't help. Once again, it's just an awful name in my opinion, even with the context, which I'm very well aware of. New Texas Giant at Six Flags Over Texas. Of course, this used to be a giant wooden coaster built by Din, and it was just called Texas Giant. It was given the RMC conversion, and now it's called New Texas Giant. Not much else to say, it's just really boring and uninspired. Riddler Revenge at Six Flags New England. This isn't inherently a bad name, but... It's really frustrating for me because Riddler's Revenge is fine. That's the name of Six Flags Magic Mountain's stand-up coaster, and it's called Riddler's Revenge. But at Six Flags New England, they renamed their SLC recently to Riddler Revenge. Don't like that. It's just kind of frustrating for some reason. It just sounds weird to me. So that's why I put it as an honorable mention on this list. My last honorable mention is the worst out of all the honorable mentions in my opinion. This is Scream at Six Flags Magic Mountain. I mean, come on, Scream? Scream with an exclamation point. It's uh yeah, it's a name, certainly. It's a name. It's just so uninspired once again. Starting off the list proper at the number 10 spot, I have Kitty Hawk at Carowinds, which is a Vacoma family inverted coaster. Kitty Hawk used to be called Flying Ace Aerial Chase. That was not a great name, but obviously they took Nighthawk, which is really close to where this ride is. They renamed Flying Ace to Kitty Hawk to sort of be, you know, the uh, the junior counterpart to that ride. And it just, it just, no. Number nine is Gotham City Gauntlet, Escape from Arkham Asylum. This is a Mauer Wild Mouse coaster at Six Flags New England. And this name is just a mouthful. Why? Like, it, it's a wild mouse. It's just an awful name. It's way too long. It, it's just it's just not a good name. It's way too long. So, yeah, it, it's not very memorable. Moving on at number eight, we have Mind Eraser. This name has been used on quite a few coasters over the years. Some of them have been renamed, but there are still some Mind Eraser names that remain. And why would you call a coaster Mind Eraser? This is just, it's awful. And a lot of times, the Mind Eraser coasters have awful color schemes too. And a lot of times, they're just bad rides, and they look awful. And just nothing about the Mind Eraser name helps with that in one bit. I mean, it's just one of the worst names out there. Number seven is Whistle Punk Chaser. This is a Zamperla Kitty Coaster at Dollywood. It's a pretty new ride. And like, what is, I, I just, I don't know what a, a Whistle Punk Chaser is. I don't think a lot of people do. It's just a weird name. They can kind of get away with it, you know, because it's a kitty coaster. So you can get away with some of these more fun names, I guess. 
Whistle Punk Chaser, in my opinion, is not a very good name. And at number six, we have Invader at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. That's right, not Invader, because Invader would have actually been a pretty solid name, I think. This has a cool logo and everything. It's a really nice looking family GCI, but they went with the name Invader. I am aware that they had a poll where the public voted on a name. They had like three different options. I can't remember what the other options are right now as I'm recording this, but I remember those other options were also pretty terrible in my opinion. I mean, why did they go with any of those names? But yeah, the, the public voted on Invader. So we have a coaster called Invader at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. If they would have just put the E in there, this wouldn't have made it on the list. I mean, it's just, it just doesn't make any sense. It's dumb in my opinion. It's not a good name. Otherwise, it looks like a great ride. Number five is Go Bananas at Wild Adventures. Of course, this park is in Valdesta, Georgia. This is a Mauer. This is another Mauer Wild Mouse ride. Generic coaster, obviously. And it's a fun name, you know. I'm not going to lie. I, I do kind of like it just because it's so fun, but at the same time, it's just an awful name. There's no way I couldn't put it on this list. I mean, yeah, like, let's go bananas and ride the wild mouse. I just, I don't understand where the name came from, which is fine. Um, it doesn't have to make sense, and I know it's a fun name. So props to him for being original and having fun with the name, I suppose. But uh, yeah, go bananas is at the number five spot. The number four worst coaster name, in my opinion, is Incredicoaster. This was formerly called California Screamin'. This is at Disney's California Adventure. And I thought California Screamin' was not a terrific name, but of course, they've been doing massive overhauls to this park, and they rethemed California Screamin' to the Incredibles. Obviously, that's where the name Incredicoaster comes from. It's just too obvious and too uninspired sounding. It's like, what are we going to call this? Oh, how about we just combine Incredible and Coaster? I mean, that's literally all this name is. It looks like a decent family type launched Entenmann coaster. It, lo it looks pretty fun. Nothing spectacular. It's a very long ride. The Incredibles theming honestly looks pretty cool in my opinion. But I think the Incredibles coaster or just the Incredibles would have worked better than Incredicoaster. Number three. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this one. Number three. This is a Vacoma Boomerang, and it did formerly have the very generic name of Boomerang. At least it's an original name now, but the thing is, the name they came up with was Equalizer. Yeah, not Equalizer, but Equalizer. And of course, Equalizer is a play on the Wallaby name because this is at Wallaby Roan Alps. So obviously they're making it a play on words, like with the park name. So I guess, you know, they're sort of being clever there, you know, and they're like, okay, we'll capitalize the W as well. And this will be Equalizer. It's a uh, Vacoma Boomerang. There's not much else to say about it. At least it's not just called Boomerang now. I really think the name just Equalizer spelled as it normally is would have made this name so much better. But of course they had to get clever with it. And this is what we got. So... <laughs> number two. Oh man, number two is one I really thought about putting at the number one spot. The name Hurler has been used on King's Dominion and Carowind's wooden coasters. Of course, the one at King's Dominion got converted into the amazing RMC known as Twisted Timbers. The one at Carowind's is still operating. The name Hurler made a lot of sense when Paramount owned the parks. Paramount owned the parks when both of these Hurler coasters opened, and they were themed to Wayne's World, so the name Hurler it made a lot of sense. The logo's also not very good looking, but, uh, you know, the name Hurler made sense, and they had the Wayne's World theme with it, which was kind of cool. Well, Cedar Fair bought the parks in 2006. They removed all the Wayne's World theming. Now we're just stuck with a coaster theme to, uh, uh, yeah, not cool. So, what is the worst coaster name? Obviously, Hurler is not the worst for some reason. So, what is my number one least favorite coaster name that I came up with? Tantrum. Yes, Tantrum at Six Flags Darien Lake. Opened in 2018, and Tantrum is a Gerslauer Eurofighter. It's a clone of Iron Shark at Galveston Historic Pleasure Pier. So, it's, it's a very small ride. It's very short. But it's definitely a very thrilling, small, compact ride. And it's called Tantrum. Uh, 
yeah, it's like, oh, you know, it's it's like a, you know, I just think of like a little kid, you know, bawling his eyes out because he didn't get what he wanted when his mommy took him to the store, you know, and he had a little tantrum. So uh, th- that's what I think of when I think of this ride. I mean, what else would you think of with the name tantrum? The color scheme is kind of off-putting too. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's also slightly off-putting. And I mean, I guess it fits the name, like the bright green and the bright orange together. I mean, it's kind of Nickelodeon-ish and the logo even kind of reminds me of a Nickelodeon theme. And I I guess, you know, the name and color scheme and everything work together well. Tantrum is just an awful name in my opinion. I think almost anything else would have worked a lot better. Even if they just named it the model, just called it Eurofighter, like that would have been so much better than Tantrum, honestly. So, uh, yeah, this was a fun list to make, and I want to thank you all for watching this video again. Like I said, this is, of course, my opinion. I probably forgot about some really, really terrible names out there. So be sure to let me know your opinions on what you think are the worst roller coaster names out there. There are definitely plenty to be found across the globe. Let me know. I'll see you in the next video. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.